Silicon Valley, as I've told you many times, uh, I think one of the best shows, uh, certainly now, but maybe <laughs> ever. I love that show. Oh, I disagree, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys nominated for the Best Comedy Emmy. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on that. You. You've, been, you've been to the Emmys before. Do you enjoy yeah. it? Do you like it? Is it a fun experience for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It's, it's a great time. It's fancy. It's start... Uh, Here's the thing. As I was saying, you know, for years and years, you're just like a guy. You're like a, you're a comedian or an actor or a writer, and then, you know, you walk down to McDonald's, <laughs> uh, and nobody stops you. Like, maybe they'll be like, I saw you on that UCB show, you're funny, or whatever. And then you get on the show, uh, like Silicon Valley or something, people watch it, and then you make that same trip, and I was like, I remember that was selfie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then what ends up happening is, like, if the show's good, then you start going to, like, these fancy things, like, Emmys and after Emmy parties and pre-Emmy parties and it's all fancy and you wear these little suits, these tiny little suits that barely fit. <laughs> I think that's your choice. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. you're right. You're right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, it's, it's like that first episode actually of the show of Silicon Valley where everyone's like eating like deconstructed shrimps and like it's just a blob of goo and it starts to feel like the Hunger Games where everyone's got these crazy hairstyles because everyone's got to be unique in this, in this topsy-turvy world. And like, you know, someone will be like, hi, I'm Nathan from Queef Magazine. Can I do a story? And you're like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Wait a minute, I was on the cover of that magazine. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to Queef Magazine. It's incredible. The articles, the fashion, it's high fashion. And like, you, you, you go to these parties and like, I, I was at one, I swear there was this fountain and they had remote control boats in the fountain and so you could be talking and then someone would be like, would you care to race a boat? And you're like, oh, okay. And you just race a remote control boat while yeah. you're having a conversation. Yeah. It's very, it's very surreal. It feels... Oh. And also, uh, my experience was there were years and years and years where nobody gave me anything. Oh, yeah. I didn't have any money. And then suddenly, the minute you hit it, you go to these things and they start giving you stuff. Yeah. And you're like, I can pay for it my, now. Why did, were you giving this to me 10 but years ago? But they're like, ago? we want you to have it. And I'm like, but uh, Here's why? a white tiger, you know? <laughs> like, I would love a white Thank tiger. You. But how will I care for it? You'll find out. <laughs> the blood of the innocent. And, uh, <laughs> and, and w the, the, the best example of this, well, the highlight of something like this, is I was at one of these fancy parties, and very, I have to sort of like back it up a bit. So I do this show, it's called The Improvised Shakespeare Show, it's an improv show, and I, I've been doing it for years and years, and occasionally, occasionally, Sir Patrick Stewart will come in and sit in with us. Yeah. He'll be like, I would like to do the show. And we're like, oh, okay. Which is great. It's insane. So if you ever see the show, there's like a 10% chance that we'll all come out and you'll be like, that's Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah. And you'll see it, and he's great. He's super funny, and I love him. Uh, but I was at one of these parties, and it's so crazy, because all these people you don't know, you're eating the deconstructed shrimp, Queef Magazine's over there, <laughs> and you're like, oh, there's Channing Tatum. I can't go, I can't be like, hey, Channing, I'm your, can I be your friend? He'll be like, no, yeah. no, sir. <laughs> and so you stand there, and you don't know anyone, you eat the shrimp, you take a photo, and you just sort of sit there. And then, I swear, me and the lady, we're about to, hit, we're about to get out, we're like, this, we, we feel silly. And then I hear, out of the crowd, Thomas, oh, thank God you're here. And I look over, and there's Patrick Stewart, like, I don't know anyone. We're sticking together tonight. What? And I was like, that's fantastic. And I, I swear to you, if, if you would have traveled back in time to my 15-year-old self and said, you know, when you're older, you're going to be Pat, you're going to be Jean-Luc Picard, Captain Jean-Luc Picard's social lifeline at a weird Hollywood event. <laughs> I would have kicked you in the penis. <laughs> I would have first said, "It's Conan O'Brien and Annie." <laughs> oh my God! And then I would have kicked both of you, man, right, in the right. penis. Well, <laughs> well, don't we approach young men? It's usually to get kicked yeah. in the penis. <laughs> That's always how that goes yeah. down. Yeah, that was a triumph. That's fascinating. Life. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos.